What is up guys? It's Alex the Magician here back for another video. Uh, I was actually supposed to stream right now, but my internet is not working because uh, apparently the company is doing some work on my building. So not quite sure when I'm going to get it back. So I figured might as well record this video. So this video is going to be a demonstration of the first week uh, with Necro. And uh, as before, as with the Conflux demonstration, I'm also going to um, be kind of simulating a gold disadvantage. Uh, we're going to assume that we're just starting with 3K gold, so we're not going to go below 7K since I'm not able to give myself minus gold against the AI. And yeah, I will just get into the demonstration. Uh, I will not be explaining as much of the overview of Necro and, you know, the turn one and two, whether I, I want to restart or not. Um, so if you guys are interested in those things, I'll leave the overview uh, video in the description below, as well as uh, some other helpful guides as well. And mainly, I'm going to be focusing here on the kind of most standard necro strategy of essentially just getting as many skeletons as possible and breaking as soon as possible with skeletons and with animate. Uh, so worst case scenario, uh, generally you can break like this on one two one uh, by taking side villages and by buying all the units that you would get, uh, level 1 and 2 units, from the side villages, as well as the additional 2 heroes with army uh, on one two, one and converting everything into skeletons and having animate. Of course, there are other strategies for Necro, but that uh, is probably the most standard one. And it's going to go to show that, again, I'm just going to play a completely random map. I have not taken a look at this map. I will just play whatever I get, if it's a bad break, if it's a bad map, whatever. It's going to go to show that Necro, why Necro is the top tier town, because when you do that, when you, you know, you can essentially play any map with Necro. You... Pretty much, that's what you're paying for when you're paying for Necro, you're paying for stability, right? So essentially, even if you have a bad map, even if you have no objects to farm in terms of, uh, you know, like pickets, hives, consoles, and things like that, you can still always go for the skeletons, and generally you can still break on 1-2-1 one, one with somewhere around 300 skeletons. The only thing that can kind of hinder you is not being able to get animate because sometimes you do get unlucky with that uh you know you can rebuild it a maximum of five times and you know only get animate on a fifth try so if that happens then yeah you you would be breaking somewhere around one two three anyway so let's just get right into it Okay, so as always, uh, right away, we need to pick up gold. That's always the priority with Necro right away, because you're always going to be starting at a gold disadvantage. And uh, yeah, right away, you're picking up gold. And also, you're taking a look at the heroes you have. And actually, getting tower heroes is great, because they get a lot of units. So that means a lot of skeletons. Generally, you're building a skeleton transformer on day one, converting everything to skeletons. So with Serena over here, we get a decent number uh, of skeletons. And we also have Thant, so we actually have Animate, which means that if we get a Scholar Hero, we don't need to build Mage Guild level 3, which is amazing. If we can just teach Animate to Galthran through a Scholar, that would be amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and buy Thant. And Thant is going to have the whites, and he's going to go this way. So again, we're not going below 7k. Alright, so that means we have enough gold for another hero. And uh, we've got a cons here. Right, sprites here. So let's go ahead and buy Serena now. We should probably check the size of the cons with Thaunt. If it's a size 1, we can go for that right away. 
I don't think I want to pick up this pile of gold. The problem is I don't really see a whole lot of more gold. Um, you would kind of want to pick this up with Serena. Because right now I'm basically out of gold. I need at least 1,000 gold to buy a Skeleton Transformer. But if I do this, that's a lot of moves wasted. So it's probably better to go this way. Now, and sometimes this happens See, I'm not seeing a lot of gold. Sometimes you get a lot of gold, sometimes you don't. This is actually a good artifact. Getting spell power and um, knowledge artifacts is good. All right, and it looks like we're blocked here. So this is actually really, really bad. Um, we, we got no gold, so Thont is not going to check the cons. We're going to hope that maybe he can find some additional gold. It looks like he can't. Yeah, so this is pretty much the worst case scenario when you're starting for Necro. We just have no gold. We just have no gold, literally. And uh, the only thing that we can do, we can't even buy a Skeleton Transformer. The only thing we can try to do is we can try to go for the uh, Dwarven Treasury. Actually, maybe we can clear the air elementals here. Maybe Serena. Usually you get more gold or you get like crypts or something like that around your town. Uh, but yeah, in this case, we, we, we picked up what two piles of gold and that's it. That is actually pretty bad. All right, let's go and kill the air elementals. We have to do that, I think. 1019. Okay, no storm stack. That's good. All right. I'm really just hoping that I will get to pick up some gold with Serena now. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, yeah, there is a little bit. There is a little bit. Okay. Yeah, and there's the gold finally. But we were only able to, yeah, we were able to pick up uh, a pile for the Skeleton Transformer, but <clears throat> it looks like we're not able to get another hero, unfortunately. So let's see what size the Dwarven Treasury is. We're going to be doing the Dwarven Treasury and the Churchyard next turn, I think. Maybe this turn. Well, okay, this is a mini, so we can do that. We can do the Dwarven Treasury now. All right, so maybe we can still salvage this. Maybe we can still salvage this. If this was a bigger uh, Dwarven Treasury, we would not be able to do it right now. So I would just have to... Okay. Um, I don't remember how much gold this one actually gives me, though. Quite one shot him, but I will. Okay, that's fine. Need to get away. I'm following the main stack. There's more targets for you guys. Come on. All of them. Thank you. <laughs> of course, they're going this way. Okay. 
case one of them gets morale, my main stack should be safe. Uh-huh. Oh, crap, <laughs> but I'm blocked. Alright, we're not gonna get morale two turns in a row, right? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, two and a half K gold. That's actually great. Um, so now we can get one more hero and we can also buy the skeleton transformer. Um, not quite sure. Yeah, so yeah, whenever you see good artifacts, good spell power artifacts with Necro, that's really good. Uh, that means, you know, especially for Galthron, if Galthron is gonna be your main, uh, you want to have a decent amount of spell power to be able to animate, and this is plus five spell power, so that's awesome. Now we just need to get his knowledge up as well. Actually, here he has three spell power. Nice, he's leveling spell power. So actually, if we find like Coliseum of Magi or the um, Schools of Magic, we're gonna want to get um, knowledge at this point, not spell power. Right, so next we're gonna go for the uh, churchyard, I believe. So Serena is gonna pick up all of this gold. And I guess I'll probably get somebody to go this way. Isra. And we're going to need to bring the additional skeletons to Galthron. Actually, you know what? I'll probably send Isra this way. That's probably a better idea, right? Buy the skeleton. Well, you know what? I need to buy the additional skeletons next turn anyway. So let's see what we can find here. Another spell power artifact. This one has a much worse guard, though. More skeletons. Okay. All right, that was a little bit useless. With uh, Isra there, he didn't really get much, but that's okay. Now, would have been really nice to get Dracon starting. All right. So Skeleton Transformer and then Galthron is going to do the Churchyard. Okay, well, that's turn one. Um, not the greatest turn, of course. We only got four heroes, but we do have a decent number of Skeletons. Um, with this and with this, we have what, about 160 or 150 at least, which means um, that's, a, that's a pretty decent start, which means we can do a Churchyard. Um, the only problem is we didn't get a lot of gold starting. Uh, like if these piles of gold were a little bit closer uh, to the town, it would have been better. But still not terrible. I mean, we do have a cons. We have a decent number of uh, skeletons. We have thont. Um, so if I had two restarts, I may restart this. Uh, but I would say this is like somewhat average. Like we do this spell power chest makes us real uh, a lot better. And the cons also makes it pretty good. We don't know the size of the cons, but like if I had two restarts, I might consider restarting this. If I only had one restart left, I probably would not restart this. All right. Well, let's go. All right. Thons, you're just going to continue. Basic scouting. Um, yeah, why not? Troglodytes here. We can probably kill them, but I think I'll just pick this chest up for gold. There, finally, we get a little bit of gold. Armor of Wonder here, don't really need it. All right, a bunch of chests, so that's that's what we need. All right, so the village should be that way, and the break should be that way. I'll probably need another hero. Thant is gonna go for the village, and another hero is gonna go scout. All right, Isra grabs more skeletons, brings them back here. Serena grabs as much gold as she can. Good, good. So now, now we're doing okay. Now we're doing okay in terms of gold. So let's go check the cons. Let's go uh, get more skeletons. Let's see, I don't really need anything except for some of these one stocks. Okay. 
23 plus more skeletons here. Should, should have grabbed. Should have grabbed a gargoyle too. All right. So now I believe we're gonna go for the churchyard. These assholes actually want to fight. That sucks. We're losing some skeletons needlessly here. Okay, nice. Okay, that's fine. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Okay. Alright, six skeletons acceptable. Okay, churchyard. Using our patented churchyard tech. Intelligence, I have to take it. I have to take intelligence since uh, I'm short of no on knowledge. Ooh, scholar. Damn, I should have taken that. Ah, oh, crap. That was... Uh, <sighs> I was playing a little bit too automatic. I should have taken scholar. Uh, I should have definitely taken scholar because... Uh, well, obviously, I can learn animate from uh, Thont. So that was a mistake. That was a mistake. All right, so let's check the cons. Okay, unknown size. So at least a size two though. Right, let's get one more hero. Yeah, in that situation, I should have certainly taken Scholar. I just uh, kind of clicked automatically. Okay. So we've got another churchyard that I'll probably go for next. Maybe the crypt as well. All right, now we're building Mage Guild. Yeah, I certainly should have taken Scholar. I just would have needed wisdom, basic wisdom, and advanced scholar. That was that, that was certainly a mistake. In that case, guys, definitely take scholar. Because <laughs> all you need is advanced scholar and basic wisdom to learn animate. And now I've got nobody with scholar. So I may have to end up building animate anyway. In most cases, you will have to build animate though. Like you're not gonna get Thont a lot of the time unless you obviously start, uh, you know, choose Thont as your starting hero, but then you're gonna sacrifice a lot of tempo. All right, yeah, I think we're gonna go for the other churchyard. Um, might wanna buy another hero to go down there. Yeah, let's do that. Now Tarek has haste, that's something. That is something. By the way, do we have haste? No, we have haste here. Yeah, Scholar would have been great. Kind of kicking myself for not taking that. All right. I don't think I'm going to take the gold mine. Um, I don't want to fight the lizard warriors right now. All right, let's go. Uh, we're still at 7k gold or above 7k so I think uh, as soon as we're buying a marketplace I gotta transfer the 7k to okay I found can't quite can't quite reach oh wait I wanted to get a hero to go this way what am I doing 
Israel can do that because <clears throat> I need to scout the break. And also, there's a bunch of uh, gold that I can pick up. Serena, check the size of the crypt. Uh, small crypt. Not interested, really. Alright, Galthron, in that case, let's go and do the other churchyard. Uh, really hoping for a good crown. Like, the plus four crown would be amazing here. thing that it happened there that I didn't one shot him advanced int cool that should be easy here Okay, um, so now we're basically looking for knowledge. We're looking for something that's going to give us a... Um, we're looking for a hat. So, what are we going to do with Galthron is the question. Alright, Serena, you should continue this way. Okay, this village has some a guard. Uh, so, thinking about actually poor... Oh, wait, I should have... Um, okay, a mistake here. I should have bought a Necromancy Amplifier before doing the churchyard. I would have gotten a few more skeletons that way. I often forget I often forget to do that um, definitely an important thing like before you know turn three generally so generally you know you would go skeleton transformer turn one mage go level one turn two and then uh, uh, necro amplifier turn three build that at the beginning of the turn so that you can actually um, you know when you're doing fights like the churchyard you get that bonus to the necromancy so I guess it's still a little bit early today. I'm making these mistakes that I shouldn't really be making. All right, let's see. Let's grab the Walking Dead, I guess. Here, we can use that to take that village. And Galthran. Um, might want to pour him on him now. Pour him on him and have him go for the cons? Question mark. Um, I need to check the size of the cons. Definitely need to check the size of the cons. All right. If it's a size two, if it's a size two, then with the additional skeletons we're gonna get from here and the additional skeletons we're gonna get from here, 
we should be able to do it. We should be able to do it. All right, so let me try. I'm gonna try to pour my Golthron. Actually, it looks like I can't do it now. Nope, not quite. That's okay. Uh, I don't really need to replenish my mana anyway, so I can pour mana at the beginning of the next turn on these Royal Griffins. Um, I need to set up a chain to make sure that I can bring back the skeletons after I take this side village, right? So what's going to happen is uh, Serena grabs the army from Tarek, takes the village, buys the units from that village, gives it back to Tarek. Tarek gives it to Dracon, and then Dracon brings it down here. Here we give the skeletons to Gothran as well, and hopefully Thant and Isra. Actually, yeah, we, we kill the troglodytes, and with Thant and Isra, we bring the skeletons from here, and then I should have somewhere around two hundred and maybe fifty, maybe two hundred and fifty. Well, maybe a little less. And uh, which should be enough for a size two cons, if that cons is a size two. So we're gonna check the cons. If it's a size two, we're gonna take it. Oh, there's also a garden revelation here. I need to remember to visit that. All right, well, let's see what we got. That is, needed gold there. No, of course I don't wanna retreat. We have animate, so. It's okay. Let's try this. Okay. Good. Let's try to save our animate. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I won't. I don't think I'll be using the animate here. This is fine. But I do not think, I don't think I'll be able to do this. Okay, I don't think I can chain that back, unfortunately. So we're not gonna have these. Well, maybe in that case, maybe in that case I just do, um, I do the cons in a turn. So Isra can pick up the gold and scout what the break is. Red dragons, that's actually pretty bad. So we're certainly gonna need, um, we're certainly gonna need to be, uh, to have a decent amount of mana and spell power to be able to do it. And there's still no hat to be found. We really, really need a hat. There looks like there's a Coliseum of Magi here, but I don't think I'm gonna send Galthran all the way there because it looks like I gotta fight the sorceresses, which you know, they're gonna kill a lot of stuff. So we may wanna do the crypt. As of right now, I don't really have a way to get a hat. Grab Walking Dead, whatever. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Okay, grab units from here. All right, and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get Marketplace. So now I can finally send the gold to the blue player, 7k as I said. Okay. So, uh, poor man in Galthron and then buying another hero to check the size of the cons. Actually, I don't need to buy. I can just, uh, just check it with Leonis here. Okay. So we've got Tarek. Mm -hmm. Dracon, perfect. Now Dracon. Yeah, 
can actually go that way. So he can convert everything into skeletons, maybe keep a dog for speed. 200, so 224. Yeah, if that's a size 2, we'll be able to do it. If it's bigger than a size 2, then not quite. Um, should we... Dracon would actually not be a bad main uh, for the uh, dragons, because he is a beastmaster. He's going to have a lot of defense. But at this point, I think it's still Galthran, because uh, he's got the intelligence. All right, let's check this out. This is definitely uh, an important thing to do. I had a game yesterday, actually, where I had an amazing start. I had 200 skeletons on turn one because I got Ignatus in the tavern. That's always a jackpot when you get like Ignatus or Dracon or Shakti or you know somebody who gets three stacks of those level one units. Um, and then I found a skeletons box on turn two, I believe. So I had like 300 skeletons on turn two or three. And um, where I found the box, there was also a cons, and it was one of these where you don't know if it's a size two, three, or four. And uh, I was thinking about just going into it blindly, but then ended up checking the cons, uh, and it turned out to be a size four. And I actually, so that made me farm another cons that was a size two and get some more skeletons and then do it. So definitely important because I would have uh, lost a lot of skeletons and a lot of tempo. And in that game, I ended up breaking 117, actually. Uh, this is a size two, perfect. This is actually perfect. Um, I may just want to wait one more turn, though, before doing it. Yeah, you know, I'll probably do it next turn, because right now 224 may not quite be enough to one-shot them. Uh, so I'll get 240 with the additional skeletons from here, 250 even. And 250 is a better stack, uh, so... Yeah, I will poor man Galthran. And then buy him back here. And then send him to grab him additional knowledge first. All right, he learned haste. Yeah, and then I'll just position him to do the cons next turn, basically. Yep, perfect. So this way, I'll actually bring additional skeletons uh, to him with Thant here. And now, I would really love to get Mage Guild level 2 this turn, but I don't have enough wood. So in this case, I think I'm just buying marketplaces. Oh, I don't have wood for the marketplaces. That's excellent. Okay, I need a hero to pick up wood, I think. I need a hero to pick up wood. Ah, here we go. A little bit of wood. So I can buy one. Okay, I can buy a marketplace here or no, Mage Guild level two is more important. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me buy a marketplace here. That way if I need to trade, uh, and I can get one more hero to pick up this pile of wood. I can do that. Yeah, and then I'll buy Mage Guild level two. This should work, I think. All right, so Thant is going to give the army of Sorog. Yep, we chain that to Galthran. Okay, it should work. Only two knowledge. Uh, we need to do something about that. We really do. Okay, there's knowledge here. So I think after the cons, I'm probably going for the Vampire Lords. I might actually pour man Galthran again on the Magi here or in the Medusa stores, depending on which is closer, 400, 480, so probably Medusa stores then. Yeah, Medusa stores, I only need the regular skeleton, just one skeleton. 
Yeah, and then I'll buy him back here and go for the uh, Vampire Lords, get him one more knowledge here, and yeah, and fight the Vampire Lords to get the Spell Power Artifact. Vampire Lords are not nearly as scary fighting them with Necro as they are with uh, a lot of other factions since they cannot drain Necro. All right, so since we messed up on our Scholar offering, we're going to just buy Mage Guild and just continue to build Animate. Hopefully we don't get screwed. Um, and also remember that you need Wisdom. So level 6, I'm going to get offered Wisdom. I have to take it. Okay. Well, let's go. Right. Um, as I was saying, Thant... And uh, you can go grab some more skeletons here. Is um, let's see. Now we need mercury, just mercury, yeah. Okay, there's some here. Good. It's from Mage Guild level three. Pick up gold. It sucks that we can't find a hat. We cannot find a good hat. Okay, Isra, I still need some wood. Probably taking the Armor of Wonder would be helpful, since we really need all the knowledge we can get. Even though we're gonna have we're gonna have a more useful chest, we can replenish our mana with this and have plus one knowledge on that. Actually, the shrine could potentially be animate too. So probably one night, once I get the angels, I'll have, uh, I don't know, maybe Isra kill them. All right, Sarug. Let's go. Skeletons, let's go. Twenty-eight more, great. No, this should be completely fine. I was, I was gonna grab another one stack. Okay. So this here is the cons tech. Also useful to know how to do this. Okay, we have the necro amplifier. Yeah, we have everything, let's go. Uh, the most important thing is to have a stack that one-shots them. As long as we can one-shot them, this should be fine. Ah, one left. That's so annoying. That is really freaking annoying. Okay. Okay, wait. Wait. All right. Damn, that's bad. Ah, need to cast shield then. Actually, if I cast haste, you know what? I could cast haste. No, one of the griffins didn't move, it looks like. It, it really sucks that there's just one. We didn't shot one, and because of that, our tech got screwed up. So hold on, the skeletons waited. There's still one stack that's gonna move, and I think it's that stack, right? I think that stack is still going to move. One, two, three. Yeah, three of them moved. So I think we got to go and kill that guy. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to cast haste. Because that way we definitely get to move first at the beginning of the next round. And we're going to take out that stack. So we're going to try to get around getting screwed right now. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do shield, because we're going to get hit by this stack, unfortunately. No matter what. Ugh. God, we did not one-shot them again? Okay, this is... 
not going as well as I would like. Okay. Yeah, those were, because we didn't one-shot, like, barely, we, we low-rolled our damage. Uh, we didn't one-shot them, we lost 29 skeletons. Uh, we should have, honestly, only lost... Uh, we should have only lost about, uh, like, seven skeletons, just our one stacks. But that's okay, this is not too bad. Our skeleton stack is still pretty healthy, uh, and we have two angels now. And we leveled up, we got wisdom. Uh, three knowledge only, though. So, this is okay. This is okay. Not too bad. Uh, we can still continue with our plan, and we're still going to be able to break on 1-2-1. One, um, one, even though the break is pretty bad. Alright, let's see if we can roll animate. Yes. Okay, perfect. So this is getting it, getting it on your first build is amazing. So now Galthron is going to have animate. Um, for knowledge. Yeah, so after he gets the knowledge... Hmm. Do I maybe take that with someone else? Okay, well, let's see what we can do. If I do that... Okay, I only have 97 moves left. So then next turn we have to pour him on him and 117 we move him out and do the break 121. Yeah, it looks like that's what's going to happen. And then we can also get the additional um, this. So I'll, I'll have uh, Lyonis give the stuff to Isra so that Isra can do that. Right, Galthran is certainly... We don't really need to speed him up, I don't think, because uh, we're just killing the vampires. And then we're uh, poor manning, I don't know, on the gremlins or something. So this is fine. I mean, just a level 6 unit, that's fine. Or 6 speed unit, I mean. Okay, there's our knowledge. So 4 knowledge. So 5 knowledge with expert intelligence is actually pretty decent. And then we're going to have 9 spell power. See, five knowledge plus fifty percent. That's seventy-five mana. Um, even though we don't have earth magic, seventy-five mana means we have uh, five animates technically. But we're probably going to cast shield and then just shield and stone skin probably, and then use four animates. Shield would probably be good to take as well. All right, well, let's see. What else do we need to do? We need to send Lyonis over here so that Isra can grab that. That's one more knowledge for Galthron. And Galthron might get another level fighting the vampires, might not. We'll see. Probably not, but. Right, let's just collect resources as much as we can. Okay, we have wood. Uh, let's buy taverns here and here. Now, when you get taverns, uh, when you have two taverns, you can check the stats and uh, of your enemy hero. And you know who has more towns, who has more heroes. So when you're playing against another player, it's useful to know. Uh, you know that way you'll know when he is in the center based on the towns that he has, based on how many towns he has. All right, bro hid. okay. There is a Utopia, by the way, at home that we can always go back to farm. All right, so basically now our mission is just, now we have Animate, right? Galthron has Animate. And uh, our mission is just to grab the Breastplate of Brimstone, replenish his mana, send him out to do the break uh, on uh, one, two, one, and set up chains so we can chain uh, the additional skeletons on one two one from the side towns and also hopefully pick up the additional skeletons from like the cursed temples and the uh, the zombies and stuff depending on how much gold we have okay well, let's go right so starting here is rum is a necromancy specialist which is always good We 
should not really lose much here. Nizra even has magic arrow, so that's good. I think the angel should brawl this stock or that stock, maybe. Probably this stock, right? Well, no, that stock is kind of isolated. So hopefully we just don't get uh, paralyzed. Okay. What was the damage? All right, not that much. Let's go. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Perfect. Yep, and then Angel just brawls this. Easy. And this is the benefit of having angels. So we actually got more skeletons than we lost. Wait, we have a Necro Amplifier, right? Hm. Why did we... Oh, there were not many units. Okay, um, now Lyonis can pick this up. Give that to Isra. Frost Ring, okay. And then Isra goes back. <clears throat> yeah, let's kill the sprites as well. Let's not lose anything. Skeletons, always good. Resources here, don't really need them right now though. <clears throat> uh, we can also think about farming uh, the picket and the hive over here, which we probably should do. When we have Israel, we can get some additional skeletons uh, by doing that. But that's a side priority. That's certainly not a main priority right now. Right now, our main priority is to uh, grab the chest and poor man Galthron to replenish his mana. Now, uh, you know what? It would be nice to fight the sea dogs, but these guys are fucking dangerous because they have the uh, precision shot ability. So I would actually only want to fight them on a tactics hero like Tarek. Where is he? Yeah, let's let's try to do that. We'll take that later, because then with Tarek, uh, the angels can just get in their face right away, and hopefully they don't get precision shot, we don't lose any angels. Now, we're not going to be doing the break with angels, uh, we're just going to have skeletons when we're doing the break. There's a box over here, it looks like another estate, actually, so we could have potentially gone for a vampires game here. Alright. Okay, so. All right. Only 23 of them should not be that bad. Wait, wait, boom, 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 boom. Kills four. Let's try. Let's see, they're gonna reach though, huh? And they're all gonna probably go on the angels. Can't do shield. Alright. I can brawl this guy, I guess. Huh? They actually don't go for it. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Hmm, it's interesting. They were attacking the skeleton stack, not the angel stack. I was expecting them to attack the angels. Okay, um, yeah, and now Galthron just needs the poor man. Poor man on the gremlins here. We're gonna have somebody else pick up the chest. Five, yeah, so 75 mana with 10 spell power. Should be okay. Um, 
Pete's armor. Also, always look out for wells when you need to poor man, or you know when you're when you need to replenish your mana. Hmm, Alamar, there's our scholar, by the way. Yeah, a little too late. All right. Um, now I would love to speed up Gothran, but it doesn't look like I'm able to. Hive here. Alright. So this turn we just really need to think about how we're gonna... Might as well pick that up with Gal... Uh, you know what? Can I get one more hero to speed up Galthron? That way he's gonna be closer to the break. How far away is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me try to speed up Galthron actually. Hide him. Probably not gonna grab the zombies. Looks like I'm in a shortage of gold. I'll just grab skeletons from all the uh, cursed temples. But I can trade for a little bit of gold to buy another hero. I don't really have to do this, but I want to speed up Galthran. That way, he's close as close as possible to the break next turn. So he's gonna have, uh, and he's gonna be sped up on an angel again. Um, so that way, he has maximum moves when he breaks on one two one, and he's as close as possible. Might as well buy Alamar. I don't have to grab the spell power chest right now. I can just grab that next turn. Here, we'll keep uh, an angel on Sorug just in case. Okay. So now Galthron is going to have maximum moves. He's going to have 75 mana. And uh, Tarek, hang on, can we, yeah, I'll pick that up. I don't want to fight them right now, still not with Galthron. <clears throat> Tarek can do it. Tarek has tactics and he has haste, uh, so we'll be able to get that done. You know, I may actually want to consider upgrading my skeletons too. Because especially on Galthran, upgrading uh, upgraded skeletons have a lot more, uh, a lot better stats, more defense and offense. And since these, uh, we don't have that much uh, animate. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Because and the red dragons are kind of nasty. We're gonna need to. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of them. We're gonna need to tank uh, as much as possible. So I think I'm gonna upgrade my skeletons for the break as well. All right, and actually, if I upgrade my skeletons and haste them with Tarek, that's probably what I'll do as well. So he's got the bonus. Increase by three. Yeah, so with tactics, they should reach as well. So I think I'll upgrade my skeletons next turn too. Okay, I don't need to buy anything else. I have taverns and I need to conserve my gold. So I think what I'm going to do is I may not buy the level 2 units because level 2 units are kind of expensive skeletons. Um, I'll just buy the level 1 units here, level 1 units here, level 1 units here. And then I'll buy the two additional heroes on 1-2-1. One, one. Alright, so let's do this. Yeah, and we can think about doing the hives and the pickets now as well. But, which we can do, we can do. We can do this picket and this hive, they're close. We could even try to chain for those, but it's not really a priority. Like I said, and I don't want to be using any extra gold for uh, chaining and stuff. All right, so there's our chest. And 
and Sarug. Ah, can't pick that up. But we can keep him here. Hopefully he's going to be chained. Um, to get the army next turn. Right, so next turn we really just need to chain the army. So we need to think about setting the chains up. And for that reason, I may not, um, I may not have enough to chain uh, the hive and the picket. But I do have Isra here, so doing a hive with Isra is kind of beneficial because he's gonna get. Um, but I think I have to do it this turn if I'm gonna do it. Yeah, um, because I have the angels. And I'll have an angel on Galthram if I just move him forward. So I think I have to probably do at least a hive. I may not do the picket. We'll see. Oh, uh, crap. Yeah, and I said I wanted to upgrade my skeletons, right? Uh, Lyonis, pick up a little bit of gold then. This was... Uh, Interesting to see if uh, if that had a. Uh... All right, hold on. I need to set up thons. I think over here somewhere. Should grab some more skeletons from here though. Kind of need gold as well. All right, and this guy, yeah, he can hang out over here. I'll grab some skeletons from here. Okay, so hold on. Yeah, the sword is probably the most important thing right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I said I wanted to upgrade the skeletons, right? Let's do it. Okay, we got enough gold for that. That's cool. No, Tarek grabs the angels and the skeletons and everything else. Two angels like this. Okay, this should work. And um, let's see, do we want, no, I think I want six spell power instead of plus stats. Okay. All right. And maybe, well, I don't have, no, I only have mana for one haste, right? All right. Okay, uh, I'll accept this. <laughs> I'll accept losing one skeleton. I shall accept this now. Okay, I didn't use haste, so now I, I can actually kill the Magi as well, which I think I'm gonna do. And then Isra can take the Hive and the Picket. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, I have enough. Uh, I have enough heroes. I have enough movement to give that back to Galthron as well. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna grab the sword. Just so I'm saving movement. So I think now this is important. So let's go and do that. No, let's let's do better than that. And actually I can do the picket with Tarek because I have haste. Isra doesn't have haste, unfortunately. Six three. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's actually. Okay, just to be, oh, I think we'll be okay. Whoa, 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 hold on a minute. Okay, all right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, um, yeah, I'm probably going to be doing the picket with Tarek, because uh, I need to haste, uh, depending on the size. Um, $15.99, no, I can do it with Isra. I can do it with Isra. It's fine. Uh, but the next turn, then, because it looks like, well, I guess I'm probably going to fire Tarek at this point. Hold on. You need to do the hive, though. I need to do the hive right now. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, hopefully the hive is not too big. Yeah, and this is why, because <laughs> Isra with his necromancy specialty, 16 more skeletons here. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm actually, like, mostly I wanted to do this with Isra, not even so much for the uh, wyvern and uh, cyclopes, but for the skeletons. Uh, 2049. Basic wisdom, sure, I'll take that. Only plus six skeletons. Okay, uh, next turn I probably will do... Nah, I'm probably doing the... Um, I'm probably doing the picket with Tarek. Because I need haste to do it. Uh, right, the only problem here right now is that... I'm not able to quite bring the angel back to Galthram. So, I think to conserve the movement as much as possible, I'm going to have to buy one more hero here. Oh, wait, I have Alamar. Never mind. I don't need to buy a hero. It's all good. Uh, we need to get rid of someone, I guess, like Lyonis. Okay. Don't forget to have that on Galthron. Don't forget to grab the sword next turn. And don't forget to move him out. Just one angel. Yeah, I can probably just uh, use haste. So I'll keep... Um... There we go. Yeah, let's, uh, I'll just do that next turn. Alright, Galthron moves out. Three skeletons, I'm just going to dismiss them. I think, hold on. Maybe Thons can get him. Twelve more. No, not quite. Okay, so Thons just going to be waiting there. Galthron is here. Okay, so okay, delete the skeletons. So now we have our Galthron position for the break. Um, we've got Alamar who's going to chain the army to him. So put them over here. You know what? I'll probably just skip the picket, to be honest. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I can't do it with Isra. Uh, the Cyclopes are... I could do it. I could do it right now, even, uh, with Tarek. Uh, but to... Yeah, you know, why not? Why not? I'll do it. I should still be able to make it to Alamar, right? Or to uh, Galthron. Okay, so just an angel and the skeletons and uh, some one stacks. And uh, Tarek is going to cast haste. Yeah, so it's a mini picket. Whatever. Wow. That 
morale kind of hurt at all. Okay. Hmm. Okay, too bad we cannot speed anybody up here. Uh, let's see, can Israel reach Galtheran? Okay, almost. So it looks like Galtheran is using 100 moves to grab the army. Uh, but that's okay. So let's see. Let's make sure we have the chain set up. So here, Serena grabs the skeletons, gives them to, uh, or she grabs the goblins, gremlins, whatever, uh, gives them to Sarug. Sarug then goes here. I'll buy uh, the other two heroes here. I'll have Brohid grab additional skeletons here, give them to Alamar, Alamar, Tarek. These guys grab the army. Here, I'll buy one more hero and give the army to Thant. Chain that down here. We got enough people. Pick up the sword, tra uh, transform everything into skeletons, upgrade them, and then through give it back to Isra. And then Isra then goes to Galthran and gives everything back. Sounds about right. Let's go. Yeah, and like I said, I'm not buying the level 2 units because it's 900 gold for 9 skeletons. I don't think it's going to be worth it, especially since we need to upgrade our skeletons. Uh, we, we can probably get rid of Serena at this point. Um, Brohid. Yeah, you can grab more skeletons here. That's fine. Could probably get rid of him too. Tarek and Alamar. Just one more skeleton. Okay, whatever. All right, don't forget the army and don't forget to grab the sword. Now, now I need gold. So let's trade. I'm gonna need to buy two more heroes. Hmm, maybe I won't actually. Uh, it looks like I won't have the gold to upgrade them. All right, Septiana. Okay. A little tight in terms of gold, to be honest. Just a little tight. Okay, so Alamar. Thont. Here, pick up uh, a pile of gold here. that up mm -hmm. so I may actually need another hero okay I'm not bringing that <laughs> don't forget to not reconvert your <laughs> warriors if you decided to upgrade them don't reconvert them you do want to consolidate your stack uh, you don't want to you know you want to either Convert them all into the warriors or, you know, convert them all back into the regular skeletons. Depending on what you're doing. Okay, good, good, good. <clears throat> Alright, so... 30 skeletons. Alright, Tarek. Yeah, we're not going to buy another hero. We could get some additional skeletons. Like, you know, if we had enough gold... Uh, we could have bought, uh, you know, 16 more, uh, another 9, another 9, so that's 18 more, so that's 30, uh, plus another hero with another, like, 20. So that, we could have had about 50, 60 more skeletons, but we're not going to do that. Because uh, we're short on gold, and I think this is going to be enough to break anyway. 
Right, we have the sword, okay. The sword is a big help for sure. So we're gonna be doing a decent amount of damage. All right, so Alamar. Let's see if we can grab the... Um, all right, and uh, let's get as many skeletons as we can. Um, here, I'll buy a few more, I guess. Ooh, I don't have a marketplace here? Huh, I thought I did. Okay, that's why I should have bu I should have bought a marketplace here. That was a little bit of a mistake. When I was trading, um, I would have uh, gotten more gold. But 300, usually around 300 skeletons is going to be enough to do the break. So in this case, 320 upgraded skeletons uh, with uh, 75 mana for animate with uh, 10 spell power animate, or is it nine? Nine spell power animate uh, should be enough. We should be okay. Especially since we also have additional defense and this shield. We should be good. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to grab the angel because I don't have the moves. I don't want to use Isra's moves because he already can barely reach Galtran. Galtran needs to uh, you know, use 100 moves to get the army back. And we don't need uh, the, the angels anyway. I mean, if we br if we bring the angels to the break, uh, we're just gonna die with them. So that's there's no point doing that. So we're just giving everything to Isra in this case, and then later on with uh, Thant, uh, we can bring back the uh, we can bring that additional angel. So we got the artifacts. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, only bringing the skeletons. Making one stacks and skeletons, and uh, the plan is basically to have these skeletons uh, just chill in a corner where they can only get attacked by two stacks of dragons. And then, you know, cast shield and uh, probably stone skin and then cast animate as much as we can. We can animate like 80 skeletons, so it's, it's going to be good. It sucks that we don't have earth magic because uh, shield and stone skin is less effective and our animate is also less effective. But, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do. And this it goes to show that you can still do this. You can still break reasonably early one to one with Necro, even without earth magic. And even when you have a tough break like that, and even when you didn't farm uh, a lot of creature banks, like all we farmed is a, a size two cons, a size one hive and a size one picket. That's it. You know, and we don't even have that much more to farm. So this is one of those situations where the biome was not great. We had a pretty slow start in terms of gold, right? Uh, we were only able to buy, what, like four heroes on turn one, and we're still breaking one, two, one. So let's do this. There is a black dragon stack, so this is like this is why red dragons are like one of the worst breaks, because uh, you know especially if you have an upgraded stack, it's just it's nasty, and there's so many of them. They're beefy, they hit hard. So yeah, like I said, we're doing shield. Okay. Now we're gonna do stone skin. Okay. So better defense. Okay. See, and uh, you know, with Galthran, with armor, with a skeleton specialty, they're not even doing that much damage. So, uh, you know, I'm. I don't think I'm gonna attack this stack. Where am I? Could actually haste. Well, haste is not gonna help. If he attacks here, he's going to take my retail. So at this point, I think I want to start animating. Yeah, because I pretty much animate. Yeah. Because that's pretty much how many I animate. I have three more animates left. So this should be fine. But yeah, let's kill the stack so that uh, he doesn't take our retail. Okay. Another animate now. Maybe one. How many exactly do I animate? Let's see, 48, that's that's 80, it's like exactly 80. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, at this point, we can probably... We should take out this stack, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Okay. Um, I could try to save and animate, but I don't think I'm going to. Def in this case. Okay, def again. There we go. Just make sure, you know, at the end when you're trying to keep all of your skeletons. In this case, I could have just uh, killed them and, you know, would have lost some skeletons but still had one animate. But I'm just going to animate them again. So I basically lose nothing. So there you have it, guys. We were able to do the break. Actually, I should have taken logistics there again. Uh, so there it is uh this is how you can play necro uh one to one break with a hard break and uh, not a great biome and not a great start but when you focus like this when you play it right when you focus on a necro game the important thing is just keeping your skeleton stack and you know like i said getting the uh, artifacts that you would need to animate if we did not have this chest it would have been a lot more difficult uh, so, you know, obviously, even with this chest, we used up all of our mana, basically. So, if you can help it, if you can help it not using your entire mana, obviously, it always helps if you can get a hero with earth magic, because then your shield and your stone skin is going to be better, and your animate is going to be better. Uh, if you uh, can get earth magic on Galthran, it's great, because, you know, he gets the bonuses with skeletons. Like, if you do the break on somebody like Grindon or something like that, Grindon is going to take a lot more damage and deal a lot less damage with the skeletons, but... Um, and see, this just goes to show, actually, the stats a difference. This is why upgrading uh, skeletons to skeleton warriors is pretty nice. So even at level 9, see, the uh, skeletons, uh, regular ones, have 17 attack and 13 defense. Skeleton warriors have 18 attack and 16 defense. So three more defense. That is pretty significant. And all of that is because of Galthran. So three more defense and one more attack. Okay, guys, so on that note, I am going to end this video. I hope that you guys found this um, useful and informative. Um, let me know in the comments below if anything is not clear. And as always, for more Heroes 3 content, uh, check out my Twitch stream. The link will be in the de description below. Uh, and you're also welcome to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I do release new videos, new strategy videos every week. Uh, so if you get, uh, if you subscribe to me, you'll be notified when I release new videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.